I'm giving myself 36 hours to build a God Squad from scratch. In our last video, we spent 24 hours getting our team up to a 95 overall. But in these next 12 hours, we have three goals to complete. Number one is to acquire our first gold 99 overall player. Number two is to reach a million coins and we're basically starting at zero. And number three is to get ourselves to a 97 overall team. With only 12 in-game hours to do this, we better get started. Immediately upon logging in, we get a free Tom Brady and Ed Tuttle Jones. These positions are not only gonna massively help out our team, but we also get to upgrade them to a 98 overall from the fan appreciation program. On top of doing these solo challenge strings, we're also gonna be leveling up here, which is a huge addition. We're getting packs, players, upgrades, everything for leveling up. That's a huge part of collecting coins on the beginning of our journey. Now, if you remember from our last video, we also had these gold or better player packs from the bronze exchange, and we weren't able to open them. We kept getting an error, but finally upon logging on, we're able to open these packs. And like I said last time, these say gold or better, but you end up getting really high elite. We get a bunch of 86, 87, and 88 overall core elite players, which will help us build team builder sets, which as you guys know is how I like to offload my coins as opposed to selling players individually. Now we had a few players from our last episode that did not sell like these Eric Armstead team builder players. So that's one of the first things we do is post them up on the auction block and try to collect some coins. Our coin stack is so low and to get to a million coins total within 12 hours is not an easy feat. A few ornaments that were left over. Adding a captain token into our captain on the team Lance Allworth. After completing the first fan appreciation solo string we hop into the second fan appreciation solo string and upon completion we can get our tom brady and ed two tall jones up to a 98 overall remember these are free cards and eventually we'll get them to a 99 overall completely for free we leveled up to level 34 we got a pro fantasy pack for it which we'll open up later and by putting in tom brady to our quarterback position we're able to get our first huge chunk of coins by selling our russell wilson that we added last episode and we were able to sell him for 290,000 coins and using the exchange players that we added. We were able to build three more team builders and sell those players as well. Next, I hopped into the NFL draft solos. There's some pretty good rewards for these, so I was excited to hop into them. We got up to level 35 for these with just over nine hours left in the challenge. All our team builders to this point had sold. We built up a pretty big coin stack to this point, and we were able to complete the rest of the draft solos, which got us up to level 36 and level 37. At this point, I wanted to try some different methods. I was a little soloed out, so we hopped in and opened up some gap packs. While we waited for those players to sell from our gap packs we hop back into the gridiron four solos as we get a 97 overall cornerback from completing these and got up to level 38 which unlocked another pro fantasy pack those gridiron forge solos did take a while to complete but with just over six and a half hours left we started our sugar rush part one solos and boy did these take forever but thankfully this was the next day remember we're doing this with in-game hours not real world hours so a new season had started we'd entered season four meaning our levels reset and we were able to start leveling up yet again so we got all the way to level six we unlocked our series four champion a lot of packs and within some of the nat players that we've gotten we built a team builder mccall hardman and we posted him to the auction block which he ended up selling so with this we built up an array of packs to open let's hop in and do that we even have a hidden egg which i'm gonna start with because this could be a small medium large or extravagant egg and holy god oh, it's a small egg. i read the bottom before i read the top it's gonna be a full legend what is 92 it? ronnie Lox. Max get an 85 plus elite player i think this is from gridiron forge it's gonna be a full legend gold legend 91 leroy selman three pro fantasy pack there are new reduxes in the game at the time of recording this first round is slash can be where the money is made i need 80s and 82s and then an 87 left tackle on to the second round another superstar redux 92 marcus peters second round power up to start don't care don't care about an 82 don't care about an 80 wow this one was really bad now this one we already know what it is 95 overall and cat marshawn lynch just quick sell him for training because he's gonna go for 6500 i've got a gridiron pack that's it redux 87 god this is a tease we'll take this again good fodder for building sets we get a sugar rush 92 cairo santos i think that's like the third or fourth 92 overall that we pulled out of these not a bad pack here as all of these cards will come in handy season four champion fantasy pack we're just gonna go with tony casillas 88 plus overall sugar rush player please give me a big one 88 89 plus overall draft past nfl player it's a big one 97! Yes, that is a huge pull. We might actually use him in a set later on. More on that to come. 93 plus. Maybe we can have the same luck and pull another 97. That's no, gonna be a small one. 93, Jonathan Cooper. And last, we have two 97 overall draft NCAT fantasy cards. Of course, these can't go into sets, but to take two of these 97 overalls and add them directly to our team, I'm gonna end up going with a center Alex Mack. I try to get positions taken care of that I don't really wanna have to worry about since I can't sell these cards later on anyway. 
anyways. And for our second position here, we're going to end up going with right end Chris Long. So 96 overall, Jason Kelsey becomes 97 overall, Alex Mack. And 95 overall, Trey Hendrickson becomes 98 overall, Chris Long. We've got a little less than five hours left in this challenge. Now it's time to build some sets and sell some players, really start getting that coin stack up. So we built two of these Michael Dixon punter team of the year cards. We're able to sell these for almost 100,000 coins. Now I looked into much EG to see if there were any cards in sets that we could make that would give us a chance to really maximize our coins here. Maybe they had gotten a new card and their value had gone up. And I did find one from a team of the week set. Now this is where I screwed up. It was supposed to be team of the week, week five. Unfortunately, for some strange reason, I decided to build team of the week, week eight. We ended up pulling a few cards, 189 overall. It really was not worth it, especially since I built the wrong set. We ended up just keeping those cards on deck. We'll put them into sets later to try to sell them and maximize our coins. I opened up some more gap packs to get some more high golds. And then I used these cards that I've been building up to build some more team of the week players. After that, we hopped back into the gap pack. You'll see a theme here. This is really, I mean, still to this day, one of the best ways to make coins in this game. And then I used those cards to build the team of the week, week five, which is what I should have done from the beginning. Unfortunately, we didn't pull the card that we wanted. I took a break. I came back the next day. And now with about four hours left, we reposted any cards that hadn't sold from the night before. And then we built a team builder three on Yamada. We're able to sell him for about 50,000 coins. And then added our Gridiron Forge player, Nate Hobbs from the Gridiron Forge solos to the team. Next, I endured the Sugar Rush solos part two. Again, these were just far too long and really were probably a waste of time based on the rewards that we got. But what I was really going for here was the level up as opposed to just unlocking specific rewards from the solos themselves. So got us up to level 10. We unlocked some rewards from that. And then we went back into our binder and tried to offload some of the cards that we had earned. But now we've got some packs to open. So let's hop into that. Sugar Rush, Ray Lewis. We'll take him. He's not really going to help us too much. An 88 plus overall Sugar Rush player. These are probably the last solos that I'm going to do at least for this 12 hour window that we're doing here. It's going to be a low one. 92. We'll take a 92. I'm okay with that over an 88. Now we got a pro fantasy pack and then a 93 plus overall draft player. Starting off with a power up here, a gold card, elite 85 in the first round, 82. This is a W first round. That's a, that's a full gold legend, 90 Andre Johnson. It's not a full legend, but it's a gold legend. It's a very good first round for a pro fantasy pack. Now, in my experience, that makes the second round awful. We're going to start off with an 88 here. This is going to be Giovanni Bernard. 91 Chase Rullier. This was a really good pro fantasy pack. Holy cow. Several really good pulls that, you know, made that add up. And then last but not least here, 93 plus draft fantasy pack. Give me a 97, baby. Let me see the lights. Let me see the lights. Let me see the lights. Come on. I want a 97, 93 Jonathan Cooper. Oh no, dude. Come on. Good freaking luck, baby. Come on. It's going to be another 93 Cole Holcomb. Well, that's uh, depressing, guys. We're just going to end up putting this one up on the block. So it really doesn't matter who we take. Next, we built this Tyler Linderbaum card and we sold him on the auction house. But remember, I also have a goal here to complete a 99 overall player and add him to the team. So we decided to build this free safety Minka Fitzpatrick card. I was able to snipe both cards that went into it. Most of these were going for 100K. I managed to snipe Justin Fields for 81,000 and Josh Jacobs for 87,000. Some great deals on those. We built his set. We decided to keep his card and complete our first goal of adding a gold 99 to our squad. Now we had a few team upgrades from this just from completing the Minka set. So I added all those players to the team and we got ourselves up to a 96 overall. Just one more overall jump and we are well on our way to our 97 overall goal. All those end cap players from the sets from our last episode, we were able to quick sell those and get ourselves 71,000 training. On top of that, we built another Anyamata Team Builder 3 card and sold him on the block. But I had a lot of low overall cards from all the gaps, from all the pro fantasy packs, the level up rewards, and I didn't quite know what to do with them. So I hit up my buddy Up and Adam Gaming, who is a coin and market guru. He told me to use the Team of the Week, Week 17 or 18 exchange. If you get an 89 or 92, you quick sell them. And if you get an 85, you can use it in the 89 Ultimate Legend exchange. So that's exactly what we did. Unfortunately, pulled 385s, but we put them into that Ultimate Legend exchange and ended up selling that card for not very many coins. I went back and did some more gap packs. But now against my better wisdom, I decided to open up some training variety packs. Is it the smartest use of my coins? Probably not. But we decided to do it anyways. And boy, oh boy, did it pay off. I have a theory where the first time you start to pull a pack, you get a good pull so that EA wants you to pull more. It's like gambling, getting you a win early. And so let's see. Oh my God, I told you. <laughs> no freaking way, dude.
dude. I couldn't believe we pulled a golden ticket Tyree kill. I really battled whether to put him on the team or not. We ended up selling him on the auction house because we got a great value on him. Over 200,000 coins, pretty much. Now we have a lot of like ultimate legend cards and set pieces that we can use to build some more sets. I ended up building a Nick Folk team of the year card. And then we hit the gap pack method again. This one, I went for a while. We built up a ton of cards in our binder. We did some more team of the week exchange. We did an ultimate legend 89 overall exchange. And with just over an hour left, we still only completed one of our three goals. The next hour or so was spent cleaning up our binder, trying to sell and offload any cards that hadn't sold yet. Any collectibles like this random ornament we had from completing a challenge. We made sure to redeem. We exchanged up all our low cards, added them into sets, that team of the week, week 18 exchange set. Tried to pull some more cards. Unfortunately, a bunch more 85s that weren't really that helpful. And then at this point, we're pretty much playing the waiting game. I'm hopping on and off to make sure to not use up too much time, but we really need to sell all these cards. Until finally, we're over 950,000 coins. We're so close to our million coin goal, but we only have 20 minutes left of in-game time and no more cards in our binder to sell. But we have a little bit left to go. However, if you remember, boys, we opened up some training variety packs earlier, and out of those, you get a lot of these strategy items. So we're going to go ahead and quick sell all the ones that we're not using in our actual lineup, and that's going to give us another 62,000 coins, which puts us over a million coins, completing our second objective. And now with 23 minutes left, we have to build our team up and hopefully get to a 97 overall. Now from those training variety packs, I actually pulled a punter and a kicker, which special teams can affect your overall rating. We're going to go ahead and add in kicker Chad Johnson. And for our punter, we're going to make that Phil Sims, which just feels weird to say. But in order to get to a 97 overall here, there are a few positions that are sticking out to me that definitely need some upgrades. The first one starting at left guard. It looks like if we want a 97, it's going to be roughly the same price. Maybe it's just a little bit of a discount. So we might as well go with the 98 overall here. We're going to add John Hanna. Now, is this the sexiest of upgrades? No, but it's helping a crucial position that we had our lowest overall card at, at a 94. Out comes Ezra Cleveland and in goes John Hanna. The next position on our offense that's sticking out to me would of course be a 94 right tackle Tristan Wirfs. We're going to go ahead and add the draft player Evan Neal. Out comes Tristan Wirfs and in goes Evan Neal. We're going to get a brand new running back to replace Delvin Cook. I was leaning towards Saquon here, but he is a bit expensive. So instead, we're actually going to go with 99 overall Ladanian Tomlinson. This card is an absolute beast and will be a huge upgrade over Dalvin Cook. With that upgrade, we brought our offense to a 97 overall. We still have half a million coins left to spend, and we can upgrade our defense to hopefully get us to a 97 overall entirely. We're going to pick up Charles Haley for 158,000 coins. Really not a bad deal. I would have liked to get him a little cheaper, but what are you going to do? We're going to have to drop this down to a 97, which is okay, actually, because there's one card that I do really like. And it's this 97 overall Barry Sanders for 150k. This should leave us a lot of coins left to pick up our last card here. Because if you've been watching this channel for a while, you know that I absolutely love this player. We're picking up a defensive tackle, 98 overall William Refrigerator Perry. And just like that, we've added in every single new defensive pickup. And unfortunately, we did not get to a 97 overall. But we did get a 97 offense and a 97 defense. And we still had almost 10 minutes left on the clock. If you want to see gameplay with this team, click down here. But if you want to see the previous episode where we spent 24 hours building up the initial team, click here.